How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Season 2. We're going to do a little bit of a different episode today, actually. Uh, I do have a building project in mind, but it's going to take a little bit of uh, traveling around. So haven't done a lot of that lately, and uh, it'll be nice. We're actually going to be going back and checking out some of the old stuff that I built in Season 1. Uh, but not for the reason that you think, maybe. Anyways, as always, we are going to first take a look at what I've done since last time. So, let us head over here. First of all, I expanded a little farm at the bottom of the well here. I didn't realize with the new uh, water, you can actually put item frames under the water, which is kind of nice. Uh, so, mushroom, mushroom, mm-hmm, and on this side I put in a podzol farm. Not that I have, or not podzol, uh, mycelium farm, rather. Not that I have, like, a huge amount of uses for the stuff, but... Why not, right? Uh, let's take a look. It's very quick to farm. And I did have a crap ton of dirt just sitting in a chest, so why not? Stuff comes back very quickly, too, so um, it works pretty well. The only thing, of course, is that you do consume a dirt block in order to make it, but... Um, it's not really that big a deal. So yeah, just mine it all out. And then, uh, place the dirt. The only trick is that it has to be lit, bam, a certain amount. So I had to put more lanterns than I normally would. I was sitting here and it wasn't spreading. And I thought it was just taking a long time, but... Nope, it just wasn't lit enough. That's not too bad, almost two stacks from one uh, one go of it. So if I do decide to start building with the stuff, um, I will know where to get some. And look, it's already spreading. It's very fast, like I said. Cool, cool. And of course, if I really want to, I can build another one off on that side and another one off on that side. Perhaps at some point. Uh, everything in here is the same, so let's head over here. Just a couple things that I've done. I finally started to put enough buildings in that I'm getting more villagers to spawn, so I got a second uh, farmer dude over here who fortunately buys potatoes and beets. Which is great, because this guy buys carrots and wheat. So I'm going to have basically uh, a little emerald farm going on here. Which is pretty good. Uh, other than that, I think all of this is pretty much the same, except for just a couple new buildings that I put in. Uh, there is one here. Which I've only seen this building once, actually. But this is a legit building that spawns in uh, vanilla Minecraft, so I just duplicated it, or replicated it here. The difference is that uh, normally this has a little fenced-in area coming off the back with a couple pigs in it, but I opted to skip that part for space. And then I built a second one of these buildings over here. I think it goes well with the uh, other one there. I started filling in the beds just as I start to get more villagers to spawn. I don't like this. Oh, and then the last thing was I built these little bridges here. I think we're going to end up putting a lighthouse here. And that'll look nice. This guy keeps getting stuck out here. It's kind of annoying. But uh, if you look on the map... So there's the nope, 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 nope.
Okay. Oh, there was one more thing. I can't remember if I showed it yet, so we'll show it really quick. But uh, yeah, if you look on the map here, got those. And then you got the new building here and here. So it's coming along. Um, I did like the other idea that I got of putting like a, a mead hall kind of thing. That's probably going to go there. We'll see. I've, I'm not completely sure yet, but uh, we'll get to that at some point. Probably not today. Definitely not today. <laughs> uh, but I made these little sitting areas, and I can't remember for sure if I showed them last time. I don't think I did. But they're just kind of comfy. And I like them, especially when it's like raining and, and nighttime. Very simple, just stairs. Um, and then I think those are jungle trapdoors. And then again, if you use the uh, sea pickles, they look very much like cups. And then this is a neat trick, right? Kind of looks like a keg. So this was going to be the museum or trophy room, and that's what we're going to be working on today. So I've got it sort of laid out the way I want it to go. And what I decided to put in here, I kind of discussed it a little bit previously, but I'm going to put uh, obviously like rare and unique items like the dragon egg, um, that sort of thing. But I also want to put stuff, oh, mob heads, right? But I also want to put stuff that is sort of like historical for the progress of this series. So I've got a sample over here. This is actually the original home sweet home. It all started with that house that I built and then uh, there were like maybe three or four other buildings here and then I sort of expanded the uh, village around it. And the construction on that was actually initiated October of 2011. Of course it didn't look anything like that but uh, that's what it looked like at the end of season one. So I built a few more of these little setups. And I want to capture uh, some of my other building projects from back in the day. And if I need more room, I can always go up here as well. But uh, there are two more, three more villages, the Great Wall, which if you don't remember what that is, we'll get there. And then the uh, Floating Island, which I'm not sure how that's going to work because there was a layer of glass above it that I put to stop the, uh, the snow from falling on it. So we might have to put that one off. But uh, we're also going to try and fill up our wall of mob heads here. I did get a trident finally after all this time. Uh, so if we get some thunderstorms at any time in the course of recording this, uh, then I'll try and get the last two that I'm missing. We're going to go kill the dragon to get an extra dragon head. I do have uh, one in there, but yeah. Uh, this is going to be the wall of inappropriately enchanted junk. So if you remember back when uh, enchanting first came out, you were able to enchant anything. Uh, I take it back. I think it was when anvils first came out. You were able to put enchantments on anything. So I made a bunch of stupid like joke enchanted items. Um, we're going to put some banners there. And then this is the wall of being under construction because I don't know what's going to go there yet. Uh, and then in these little spots here in the middle of the floor, they're going to be little displays of stuff. So like the dragon egg is going to go on one, um, probably like a nether crystal on another one. And uh, I'm still working out what everything's going to be, but that's basically what we're going to do today. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Now, if you remember, uh, I've mentioned several times actually that my um, base, original base from season one is like thousands and thousands of blocks in that direction. But if you've downloaded the world download, which I guess I will... Creepy. I guess I will try and do... Uh, get the world download up again and up to date this episode. Does that sound good? Yeah, I'm going to commit myself to that. So, uh, great. Um, anyways, yeah. I built this little teleporter room out of uh, command blocks. Just so that if I ever did want to go back to the old stuff, I could. And I'm going to. So here we go. This got a lot more efficient in the last few updates, I've noticed. It used to lag like crazy, but it shouldn't now. Let's see. Yeah, that was pretty good. So now we're at, uh, well, you can see it there, 3,200. Uh, this was a um, underwater monument or whatever that I ended up clearing out. So uh, you can go in here. That's obviously home sweet home. 
Shroom Town is our next destination. And now we're about 200 instead of 2,000. These guys keep getting stuck in here. Oh, well. I don't actually care. Sorry, guys. All right, so we're going to make four maps. Oh, this was so sad when this broke. It's actually, should say, permanently out of order. Yeah, quite depressing. Anyways, let us make the first map. So, uh, for those of you who have never made... I guess we'll use the door anyway, huh? Those of you who have never made one of these maps like this... Um, yeah, remember all the uh, Toho pixel art? For the lulls or why ever I decided to do it. Ouch. <laughs> Uh, basically what you do anyways, without getting more sidetracked than I already have, is you create the one map, then you go just outside the barrier of that map and create another map. Right. I was trying to figure out why that was red. It's because there's lava down at the bottom. For those of you who have just recently started watching and haven't seen season one, uh, you're going to see some of the stuff that I built a long time ago. None of it, I feel, is uh, quite as good as stuff that I'm building now. I just think I'm, I'm better at designing stuff. But uh, this is a tree farm. It was pretty far down. Okay, good to go. So now we're going to go over here, just off the edge of this side. Okay, so we got the top left, we got the bottom left. This should be bottom right, top right, whatever. See, the problem is these maps will click together um, in sort of weird ways. Okay, so I need to go bottom right. So you can't like stand in the middle and it'll create the thing that you want in the middle. It's all sort of on a grid, um, which is something to watch out for. Okay, perfect. So I should be here and create the node. Good. Boom, 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 boom. Got a tiny portion there that's uncovered, so go check that. Okay. That was village number two that I built. It did not look at all like that originally. But I remember when I first started the series, uh, season one that is, and discovered that village, then I discovered this village, and then I discovered this village. So it was pretty cool having three villages all right there together. And back then I really liked the idea of having everything connected with rails. I mean, granted, I still kind of do like that idea. It's just that now we can fly, so it's not as big of an issue. But this was village number three, where I built everything out of stone. This weird tower. I'm not really sure what it is. I just kind of was making it up as I went. Uh, so these are good to go. Two, four. Let's go ahead and create the first one. See where it puts us. Okay, That actually captured... Most of it. Uh, but we can go that way to get some of the lake and the pier. It's fine. Uh, and let us do this one. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. Okay, so we're getting a little ways off the edge. And boom. A little bit. Okay. Cool, so that'll be bottom left, bottom right. And we'll go out on the edge there. And you can see my building has definitely improved, at least I like to think so. It's kind of pleasing to the eye, though, the uh, podzel thing. I might do that again. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go down to the end of the pier here, or at least... Part of the way down. Boom. 
Then I guess we just have to go right off the edge over here. I do have enough building projects that I can fill up the upper part of the wall as well. Like this was this observatory thing that I built. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to, uh, there. Okay, perfect. We'll go on this little island here. Just notice that I'm on peaceful, but I also don't care. So there's that. Uh, let's make sure I'm off the edge there and I'm off the edge here. Perfect. Boom. Okay, good to go. There is number two. We'll go do the Great Wall next. I think that's something that's quite fun to look at. Took a heck of a lot of work and then I never actually did anything with it, which was great. And uh, we'll check the floating island. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that one today because I'm going to have to mess with it. But we'll check it out because I've been toying with the idea of doing something similar um, in a current building project. So I'll figure that out. But yeah, pretty, pretty large, isn't it? Yeah, this took a lot. <laughs> and then I never used it. So it was awesome. All right, how are we looking? Okay, that's pretty good. I found that I uh, can't quite reach that one. Here. Most of my building projects were compact enough that they can fit on uh, four maps. And granted, of course, you can zoom out if you need to. But... This was uh, going to go somewhere. Okay, so bottom left, top left, top, bottom right. See, if I had some item frames to lay all this stuff out, that would be perfect. Okay, bottom left, top left. That's got to be top right then. So I need to go down that way, I guess. Right, because if I get over here, yeah. I'm going to do one of these wrong. I, I'm calling it. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait. That's bottom right, so I need to go out there. Okay. Mark my words, though. I will definitely mess up one of these. Dang it. <laughs> You can see over here in the distance, there is uh, the edge of like, <clears throat> the edge of uh, the chunks that had generated in whatever version of the world it was. Yeah, okay, so it's right here. And it will forever have that dead end to remind me of stuff that I was doing wrong. Okay. Well, anyways, off in the distance, you can see the edge of that's where the chunks uh, cut off for whatever version of the game I was running at that point. And I did a little bit of terraforming, terraforming, terraforming on it. That looks really bad. There's a spot over there where I actually did a pretty good job, but it was a lot of work and I never came over here. So I kind of stopped. All right, we'll head over to the Green Hill Zone. You will probably remember this one, maybe. It is aptly named, I think. Yeah, I'm still toying with the idea of once I start actually building out, um, doing the whole rails thing, but we'll see. I'm not totally sure yet. But yeah, Green Hill Zone. <laughs> Doesn't it look like uh, Sonic? Again, in a lot of ways, I don't think most of this looks very good, but I do like the pattern of the uh, clay for the grass and then obviously the dirt. 
It is very Sonic-esque. And then because I was uh, filling in space, I was like, hey, we'll make a basketball court for some reason. So that's why we have speed and jump. And there were slime balls in here, but I think I took them all out. And then you could come up and be like, ugh. Pretty stupid. Anyways, all right, so that'll be bottom something, bottom left. And then I'm going to have to go back and watch some of my older videos to remember when uh, all this stuff was originally built. Top left. Get close enough to clear out that space. Corner there. Okay. I'll go bottom right. Oh, bottom right is going to be off the map, actually. Or outside the walls, I guess. Oh, that's weird. I haven't actually been back here much. And all the villager mechanics are different now. So this guy spawned as a desert villager because this part is technically in the desert. Some of the other stuff isn't or because those guys are i don't know it's weird anyways don't look at this i don't like the way it looks <laughs> let's see i think i want that to be bottom left or do i want that to be the right Uh, goes off that way. No, maybe I should go to this side instead. Yeah, because I'm, see, I've cropped out some of the little lake or whatever over there. Yeah, we'll do that. Hmm. Go here, I guess. So bottom right, top right, bottom left. Top left, yep. All right. So let's uncover that. I'm going to leave the last uh, the last four maps because I'm not sure we're going to be able to do this one. Going the right way. Where am I on this map? I'm trying to figure out where... Uh, must be this way. Yep, there we go. There we go. Okay. Bear with me here. This was not uh, at all rehearsed or anything. Okay, so we're going to leave it at those, but let's check out the floating island briefly for those who don't remember it. I think this actually looks really nice and uh, kind of want to do something like it again. And I actually built a uh, victory monument up here because I was big into Vex super hostile maps at the time. 
and a wool box. Take note of how to build this because we're actually going to build one of these um, I have an ender chest up here. Yeah, one of these is going to go in the uh, the trophy room. So I would just go ahead and make a map of this, but the only thing is I put this glass up here because I didn't want this getting snowed on. And I think it's just going to show the glass if I do that. Cool. So Shroom Town was the second village that I started building. So it shall go here. Top left. Bottom left. Top right. Bottom right. All right. Shroom Town. And I don't remember when I first built that. I remember that it was not made out of mycelium when I first built it, but we'll have to figure that one out. Okay, good to go. And then uh, the Lakeside Park, or the Podzol Village, was the third one that I built. That was not what I wanted. Perfect, now they're out of order. Uh, so we decided bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right, this is pretty good. It's coming together. I wasn't positive how uh, all these were going to work. Lakeside Park. That is, of course, a reference to a great song by one of my favorite bands of all time, Rush. So there you go. You know, Lakeside Park, Willows in the Breeze, Lakeside Park, so many memories, that kind of thing. Uh, the floating island would go here. So... Do that there. This is another village, so the Green Hill Zone. Bottom left. Top left. Nope, I did it wrong. Top right. Bottom right. What have I done? I knew one of these was going to be wrong. Uh, okay, well, that part's right, anyway. Wait, what is this, then? There we go. <laughs> Ta-da! See, I can do it if I try. Green Hill Zone. And again, I don't remember when I built this, so I'll have to go back and look it up. A little basketball court. It actually does kind of look like a basketball court from there, doesn't it? Uh, and then we'll throw the Great Wall on here. Top right. Bottom left, bottom right, top left. Kind of blends with the snow, which is unfortunate. Uh, I might go back and fix that at some point. The Great Wall. All I'd have to do is melt it and then immediately take the uh, map again. Eh, I guess you can still kind of kind of see that. So yeah, now we can go back through and kind of look at some of the stuff I built along the way. Kind of neat. Uh, let's go ahead and do our wool box here. So I know it's going to go ba, 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 ba. technical term for it. No, it's uh, five by five, isn't it? Not uh, three by three. Shoot. Okay. Let's calculate this. Uh, we'll just go that way then. 
In that case, though, I'm going to pick these up because those are valuable. Okay, we have not thought this through properly. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, it's okay. It's fine. Everything is fine. Nothing is ruined. I'm going to have to rethink that, clearly. But over here. I think there's not really enough room in here. Oh, I could put it against the wall. One, two, three, four, five. Be off center with the door, but we can try that. I think that'll be fine. We'll see. One, two, three, four, five. Da, 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 da. Ah, uh, that still doesn't give us any room to walk. Dang it. So I was totally planning on doing that. I guess what we'll have to do is just put uh, the box itself and not the bricks around it, which is fine. Okay, that's fine. Well, in that case, I'm going to have to think about this a little bit more. But while we are still uh, still here and still have some time left, although very little time, we might go a little long in this episode, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and collect the rest of my mob heads. And uh, we'll fill, well, well, let's fill this in and the, uh, the banners really quick. Shoot, I can't believe how I uh, misjudged that. But yeah, five is way too big. Um, so I only have two banners. There's the one that I made. My empty map skin. Uh, <laughs> so there's the banner that I made, and then the banner that uh, my special guest made at one point, way back in the day, which was this one. Fairly nice looking. Mine are. Uh, oh, I have some in here. Yeah, I actually did a co-op episode way back in the day. It was kind of weird, kind of pointless, but hey. Oh, and I forgot my other things. Hold on. Hold on. My random enchanted junk. Such a bummer that I can't do the... Uh... Full box exactly how I wanted it. So there, no. There, there. Maybe I'll make a third one and put it there, who knows. Uh, but for the random enchanted junk, I've got some bunch of stupid joke enchantments that I made. Um, save that one for last because it's my favorite. So we have. Uh, the Fly Swatter, which is a stick with Bane of Arthropods. A Lightsaber, which is a Blaze Rod, Sharpness. The Pimp's Prayer, Unbreaking 3. Holy Mackerel, self-explanatory. Diving Pumpkin, makes sense. Holy Scythe, with Smite on it, if you feel particularly edgy. Tuxedo Mask, again, self-explanatory. Obsidian Skull, which I believe was a Terraria reference. Uh, I haven't played that game in a very long time. And then my personal favorite, a really sharp cactus. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put them out. We'll go things that you can hit with first, I guess. Those are all technically weapons, I suppose you could say. Then we'll go things that you can... Uh, Put this one here. Things that you can put on your head. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know it did that. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Perfect. Um, 
And then actually, now that I'm looking at it, I feel that a really sharp cactus has to go right in the center because it is my favorite. Yes. So let's put that one there. And then we'll go boom, boom. That's even better than expected. I didn't realize that you can actually read the name of it as you go over it. Very cool. Very cool. Can I name these then and uh, put a thing over them? That would be cool. All right, so let's see if we can get some more mob heads really quick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut here, and then I'll come back. Uh, so give me a second. So in my haste, I forgot you don't actually acquire these by killing the Ender Dragon. I actually went and killed the Ender Dragon because I'd completely forgotten, despite the fact that I just put one over there not that long ago. You get these from the ships. So because I didn't want to do that, I went and stole one from a uh, another build back in uh, from Season 1. But let us throw the dragon head on there. So I just need the uh, creeper and the skeleton. We're going to have to get those at another time. This is what I came up with for the little stands in the middle. It looks all right. I might switch this block out. might switch those blocks out. But for now, there's our dragon egg. And I figured just putting one of these here would be kind of neat. Don't touch. No touchy, as they say. The best part now is that if I ever want to move that, I have to blow everything else up. So definitely wise of me to put that there. Now that I'm looking at it, I think it actually would look cooler right there. But uh, uh, yeah, hmm. too late now. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to put here. And then I put one of, uh, remember way back in the day to make that teleporter room, I was like, I'll get myself a stack of command blocks. So here we have our block of ultimate power. I should uh, program it to, like, say something, say a message when you press the button. And then our super hostile wool box over here. And our wall of being under construction. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and probably complete this before next time. But so far, yeah, I think it looks all right. Fairly clean. I think I need to put some more stuff on the walls, maybe. Make it look a little bit more full, but... I like the idea, and this is kind of what I had in mind. So, yeah. Anyways, we're just about done here. Uh, we've gone over our allotted time, or hit our allotted time. So let me know what you thought. If you have any suggestions for uh, better things to put in this room, I honestly think I do want to move that to here. <laughs> I'm going to have to just move everything, blow it up, and then move it. So that'll be fun, but I'll do that before next time. And then I think I'll go ahead and fill in the rest of these maps as well. And uh, yeah, but so by the next time I post an episode, the uh, B update will be all done and everything. And uh, we'll maybe be getting snapshots of the next release, the end one, or the nether one, rather. So that should be exciting. I hope you all have enjoyed this one. Uh, the world download, as I mentioned, is going to be up once I upload this. So I'll probably just leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> or who knows, maybe I'll fix it. But uh, yeah, look in the video description for the world download if you're interested. As always, let me know if you have any cool suggestions for builds. Um, I do have a couple that are already uh, have already been suggested that I want to build. It's just going to be a matter of time. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. So thank you very much, as always, for watching. And I'll see you next time. Till then.